Hi, it's Gold Digger Girl back here and uh, thanks for watching our videos. Now I just wanted to let you know if you are new to detecting in Western Australia there are a few rules that you need to follow and there is a website that we will put on the screen for you to um, check out some information there so hopefully through the uh, beauty of technology we'll be able to pop that up on the screen for you. But to find a place to detect, where do you start? There are so many places in Western Australia and there are thousands and thousands of miles of land to cover. Where do you go? What do you do? It's actually good to start with some research. There are a lot of good uh, textbooks out there on um, the old timers and the, the, the gold that they've found around the areas. Um, you can also go to um, uh, the other websites. There's a few websites too and um, I'll put another one hopefully up here that you can have a look at and they've got a lot of great information on there. Um, that's Bill, Sue and Udo. They've got some great information on their, on their website and they're great people too. So, um, But what you need to do is really just as much research as you can. Ask, ask questions. Um, I don't know if anyone will actually give you the X marks a spot but um, there are some really good people out there to, to help out with um, different information and the more you research um, the better it is for you you get a bit of an understanding of the gold fields but I found it um, by doing just months of research on the internet and going to the State Library in Sydney and, and looking through text there and going on to some gold prospecting forums as well Okay, so you've also got a tool called 10 Graph, which um, will give you a link to that one too. Now, 10 Graph actually shows the tenements, um, and there are tenements that are live and pending, which means that somebody is paying, paying to actually have those tenements. And if it's a private or a mining company, you need to find out who that is, so you can actually go and seek permission. Sometimes they'll let you uh, go on there and sometimes they won't, but you actually need to be uh, responsible for seeking permission. You can't actually just turn up to Western Australia, jump out of the car and go, yep, yeah, this bit looks good, you be it mate, I'll go detecting, because it may be uh, a mining company's tenement or it um, might be a private person and they may not be too happy. We've looked on 10 graph. I've looked at the topographic maps, I've been given permission from a mining company to be here and then I've narrowed down um, this area. Now there is a reef not far from here and there's also some old timer workings around so over here there is a just it's kind of a shallow kind of dig there and which for me kind of indicates that it may not have been too deep the gold. So. Um, that's where we drove up to and got out of the car and we've been working around here um, and we've actually found over 15 pieces of gold and um, there were detector holes here before so we've just been really persistent and moved a lot of debris away and just given it a good go but um, yeah there was some good indicators there and some great ga ground sorry there's some great ground here as well so yeah, the, the results have been there for us, so it's been a nice time and it's a great spot.